Hello everyone, this is Protesilaos, also known as Prot. In this video I want to show you a script I just wrote. It is a working prototype. This is a timer for the terminal, a simplistic timer for the terminal, which is aptly name, named uh, TMR. TMR must recur. So I will uh, first uh, show you how this thing works and then walk you through the code a bit uh, because I think it does uh, some things that might be of interest. So TMR, um, actually I'm not sure if you can read this thing here. Uh, let's increase the font size a bit. Maybe let's also put this thing here. Uh, change the layout of Tmax. So TMR must be, must be run with a single argument and the argument needs to be a valid unit of time. So seconds, minutes or hours. Uh, seconds are uh, denoted by the letter S. Uh, minutes are M and hours are H. So if I run TMR2S, th this means run a timer for two seconds. Let's do just that. See what it happens. What happens? It prints a desktop notification as well as a message in the terminal. Uh, the content is uh, identical. And what this uh, message informs us is that uh, the timer we assigned, we passed to it, the, so two seconds in this case, which was set at this point in time uh, has elapsed and uh, we can uh, see that the difference between now so the point in time where this uh, script uh, was uh, completed and the point in time where it was uh, started is exactly the difference uh, of two seconds that we assigned uh, to it so let's um, let me run this thing for maybe let's say three minutes oh sorry uh, TMR three minutes and in the meantime I can uh, walk you through uh, this uh, script a bit let's see what we do okay I won't uh, bother with the, um, uh, the checks for dependencies and stuff like that I want to focus on the interesting things here by the way I might clean this up a bit uh, so just uh, follow along on the on the concept and not so much on uh, on the syntax here so what I want to do in this specific example here, I want to take the argument and uh, remove the very last character uh, from it. So in this case, 3M, I want to remove the letter M. So I can do that uh, by spawning an external process, something like sed or cut or whatnot. Or I can just use parameter expansion, bash parameter expansion. I have a, vi a previous video in my, on that. Uh, you can check my backlog where I discuss this uh, concept. And uh, this is uh, denoted by this uh, syntax here. So within curly brackets, within the braces here, uh, you uh, pass the parameter and then you write this, uh, these things here. Um, the percentage sign means uh, start uh, from the end. And the question mark means match the first character. And because I don't have something to replace it with, it means remove whatever it is that you are matching. So remove the very last character in this case. Then uh, I have a, another uh, form of a bash parameter expansion where I take uh, the cleaned up uh, parameter and I, pass to, and I convert it into an, a string. So the, the number three, so I, I have 3M, the number three will be converted into three minutes ago. So it will be converted into a human readable string. And the same will uh, be done for hours, three hours ago uh, or three seconds ago. Uh, of notice is uh, this thing here, this uh, message here, in case you try to run it uh, with days where the uh, timer mustn't be ridiculous and uh, the capitalization is uh, the choice of capitalization is interesting because it is a it writes again timer uh, enough with the uh, silly jokes uh, which are um, i guess uh, endemic in the free software world um, then we have the message here yeah so this is uh, this is why we are doing all these things of uh, manipulating the, um, the the argument and converting it into a string. Here, notice this thing here. Uh, the utility date uh, has the option to effectively calculate um, the time uh, from now to an arbitrary point in the past. 
So I, by the way, the three minutes here have passed and it printed the notification. Just let's just have a look at it very quickly. So I ran the script at 14.37.21 and at 14.40.21 it was completed exactly three minutes later. So we can confirm that it works. So I just close this pane so that it is not a pain to us right now. Uh, yeah, so I was saying that uh, the utility date can be run with uh, this option here, which basically is a means of uh, calculating um, the difference between the present and the point in the past. And uh, the, uh, the string here is uh, human readable. You can say, for example, five minutes ago or a week ago, and it will tell you what it was uh, a week ago. Uh, based on the syntax you define here. So this specific syntax uh, is uh, hours, minutes, uh, seconds as uh, it was uh, displayed earlier in the notification. And this is wonderful because it means that we can easily establish the difference between uh, the, the point in time when we executed this script and the point in time when it uh, completed its operations. And this is exactly what those uh, two do here. So the first one is the time that was set and then the time that it was done. And then we, we pass these to the message. So we, we tell uh, the user that uh, their argument uh, was uh, this and then the, the point in time they executed the script and the point in time the script was completed. By the way, I noticed a discrepancy here. Uh, in spacing. I want two spaces after punctuation marks when writing in monospaced fonts. Anyhow, back to our point here. Yeah, and then basically we print this message. We print it in the console and we send the desktop notification as well. And uh, that's all there is to it, folks. Um, this is um, this is not necessarily done. Uh, I, I'm not doing this to reinvent the wheel or to purport that I have found some uh, awesome way of doing uh, something uh, more efficiently than what uh, others have done before. This is just me trying to apply some concepts that uh, I have learned in uh, bash scripting and try to find some uh, useful ap applications for them. Try to see how far we can go with them and um, w whether they are useful or not and um, whatever whatever comes out of it. It's uh, playful cleverness, nothing more, nothing less. So TMR, uh, I have not pushed it uh, to the um, to my upstream, uh, to my dot files yet, but I will do by the time this video goes up, this uh, script will also be in the repos. So this script is distributed with my dot files and my dot files are available at gitlab.com forward slash protesilos forward slash dot files. That's all for now, folks. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.